Hello, welcome to the Tinker Cuts video gallery. Now, this is the first video I'm going to do, so I'm only starting up. Please bear with me and be patient. I'll try to explain what I'm going to do here. As you can see, I've already prepared something, and um, this something is a storage for my stamploration stamps. Now, as you can see, they come in little uh, sort of pockets like this, and I'm a bit fussy. I don't always want to open them and then get them stuck to the cardboard at the front. So I thought i will make some little pockets to keep them in because they're clear stamps. It's best to keep them away from sunlight. So this should be ideal. And um, these are pockets I've already prepared and I measured my stamps to start with and this is how they fit in. So you can see that. And these are going to sit up later on here. And I'm going to bind here. So the video today I'm going to do is just about how to create the pockets. And then I shall um, <clears throat> do my covers, assemble it, and uh, we just go from there. Right, so it will be in total 14 pockets that I'll be making. I've prepared 12 of them, so two I'll be <clears throat> showing you today. So I've got a slight sore throat, but I hope uh, we'll be getting through this. I'm just so keen to make this today with you. Um, now this piece of card here um, is going to be for the cover. For, uh, I've got three more for the inside and the outside. And I'm going to stamp on these. I thought it might be quite nice to use um, the stamps as well. So that will be for uh, a second or a third tutorial. So let's just start with the pockets. Now simply what I've done for these pockets here is I've cut a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock in half and then I inserted these um, little strips in the middle. So and um, I'm going to put this now aside and I shall get my scoring tool out and I've got a couple of pieces of card which I have here and they are sort of like six by, well, six by 12 inches that way. So let's just start there. And I'll probably give you, well, I will give you, because that's how I tend to work, a mixture of measurements. I'll just go with what flows easier for me. Uh, so I tend to mix centimeters and inches, but I shall also uh, sort of write it all up, the measurements, and put them onto my, um, my blog. The details, for, uh, I'll be giving you later. So I'll be putting them on my blog and then sort of, so you can either go with a mixture or you can go with all in centimeters or inches. Right, so I've got my scoring board here and now I'll be scoring this at 6.5 centimeters. So let's go down here and 24 again. So because as you can see, it's actually it's 30.5 centimeters. So I'm on 6.5 centimeters in from either edge. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fold my scored lines over. On both sides. And then I'm going to score two lines down the middle here, which will be a guide for later. So I'll align it like this and I'm going to score at 8.5 centimetres and 9 centimetres. Okay, so that's one. And let's do the second one. So again, I want 6.5 centimetres in from that edge. So that's 6.5. And then another 6.5 from here, which takes me down to 24. So fold these over and then I'm going to score the center and that's 8.5 and 9 centimeters. Okay and now I've got my little insert pieces for the middle. Now they are six inches of course in height and then they're 6.5 centimeters wide. 
So six inches is approximately 15.25 centimeters. And 6.5 centimeters is just over two and a half inches. So I'm going for the centimeters again. And I'm scoring these at three. And 3.5 centimeters. Oops. You won't see that, that doesn't matter because I'm going to turn it that way around and I'm going to stick something over the middle anyway. Right, so it's three centimeters. And 3.5. Now these score lines are sort of as a guide only because they'll help me just to find where I um, can stick my, my sticky tape. You could put just some pencil lines down if you prefer doing that. Right, so I'm going to put my board to one side. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my sticky on. <clears throat> now I'm going to put my sticky between these two lines in the, in the centre. Try and get it as, as straight as you can and as close to the top and bottom. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put some sticky down either side. You can of course use glue if you want to. I'm just sort of um, doing this with tape because it's a, it's a bit less messy. I'm normally more of a glue person, but um, I decided for, for this one here, I'm going, just going to use tape. So if you stick it in the middle between the two lines, and it's about a quarter of an inch, I think this would be, or sort of approximately five centimeters wide, this sticky tape that I'm using for this. <clears throat> And here, another one. So we're going to put that to one side. And I'm going to use my envelope punch board to get the little um, notches. And the way to do that, because I want them to be about an, in an inch and a half from the folded edge here, either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this this way around and align my score line with the inch and a half line which is here and as you see it's going to be just under four centimeters there but because this is in inches it's just easier to give you the inch one and I punch and then I'm going to do the same here align my punch line with the inch and a half my score line with the inch and a half punch line more like so that's there as you can see and that's it so I got them equal distance from the side and again <clears throat> so I want them to come in an inch and a half from either side so that they're pretty central to what will be my pockets because the pockets are this sort of width yeah so I'm going to turn this round like this so that score line is being aligned with the one and a half inch punch line. Punch. And then I'm going to do this here, this way around. Score line, one and a half inch punch line. Oops, and punch. And I got my two pockets. <coughs> so next what we'll be doing, excuse me a moment. <coughs> We'll be fitting our insert, uh, insert pieces and this is where the score lines come in. So as you can see, you've got two lines down here just in the centre. If you turn it around, it's a bit less obvious to see. So I want to align these score lines from my inserts with the score lines here. That way I know it's, it's pretty much central. 
So I'm going to peel a little bit of my sticky off yeah, and fold it over like this and maybe around. That way it won't slip back again. Align my two score lines with the score lines on the paper at the bottom here, as you can see. And then I'm going to be a bit long, but I can always chop a little bit off there. So then I'm going to see that's the top there where that needs to go. So it's here and here and so that sticks down and then I'm going to hold it and peel my paper away <clears throat> or the backing from the tape more like. Um, now with this here I'm just going to go for it and peel it off and fold this over. So I've got my pocket. I want the straight edge here, that's why I sort of slightly adjusted it. So yeah, that's the straight edge where I want, because at the bottom here, where it's being bound, it's not that important to be desperately straight. So, and again, sort of a line, and that's the sort of the pocket almost ready. So I'm going to show you the other pocket now. So you've got these two score lines, and... You get a bit of your backing tape off, uh, of the tape backing off, sort of fold it and fold it over like that, yeah. And then you align it here at the bottom with the, your two score lines and sort of like sits in it as well a bit that way, so which makes it easier to align. Now we have a cotton there here. Right, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to peel some more off here. And I line this, and that comes off, and it aligns here. So the other thing that I've done with my pockets, uh, just to give me more like an idea as to um, where to the binding might go, is I've actually scored a line about half an inch in from the bottom. So I'm just going to slightly trim this sort of off here. So just about approximately half an inch in from the bottom. I'm going to score another line just down here. Because I'm not quite sure yet whether I'm going to bind it uh, with binding rings or whether I'm going to use the the sutta. I just need to sort of play around with it a bit and see um, what it would look like. Right. So that's the pockets finished. <coughs> And they can go in with my other ones. I've got them all slightly organised here in sort of like colours. And they sit in there. And then my cover is also slightly bigger. As you can see if I just align that. So it's a little bit bigger here. Where on the outside and then a little bit either side again. <clears throat> now the measurement for the covers, I've still got to cut a chipboard and um, I'll be doing, an on the stamping as I said, I'll be doing another uh, demonstration on that. Uh, the chipboard is about 15.5 by 18 centimetres or that's, a pro that's about approximately 7 by 5 and an 8 inch. 
Okay, so that would be for your cover, so you'd need two chipboard pieces for that, and uh, either pretty paper or I'm just using card that I'm going to decorate myself. Whatever you use is up to you. So you need four pieces of paper or card and the two chipboard pieces for your covers. Now the pockets, you can make as many as you want. As I said, there were six by 12 inches, or that's approximately 15.25 by 30.5 centimeters. You score at them at 6.5 and 24 centimeters along the long edge. And that's approximately two fifths and nine and three eighths of an inch. And once you fold that, you sort of score two lines down in the middle. Now I haven't got the inch uh, measurements for that, unfortunately, because um, I haven't scored in inches. So you just need to get a little strip in the middle. So that's 8.5 by nine centimeters and it will be something similar, um, whatever 8.5 centimeters is. Let's just have a look. Um, so 8.5 is approximately three and a quarter of an inch. So you, you score three and a quarter and three and a half inch down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, and then, as I said, you want them a one and a half inch in from here. So you have to align the one and a half inch fold with your score lines. So one piece will be from the in you be having the inside showing when you facing you when you're punching and with the other one you turn it round and you have the outside showing you the outside what will be the outside of your paper um yeah and the little inner pieces here there were six by approximately two and a half or two fifths eighths of an inch <clears throat> which is a little bit wider um, in centimetres, that's 15.25 by 6.5 centimetres. And you score them at 3 in 3.5 centimetres, or uh, the equivalent would be about an inch and an eighth and an inch and three eighths. That gives you the middle lines, which you then align with your um, middle score lines from your paper. Okay, that's it for me from today. And I shall be back with uh, once I've got the design for the covers ready, and um, then we get stamping. Okay, have a lovely day and happy crafting. Bye.